All right, so you yeah, welcome back to the show. This yeah. is today with John and Helen. Our next guest, like I said earlier, is Excel Adele Samuel. Mm. He's a familiar face to us, and indeed, he's a friend of the house. Yes, Excel is. is an abstract thinker. He is a professional counselor, a chartered mediator, and wait for it, my favorite, he is a spiritual therapist and a futurist <laughs> and entrepreneur. Excel, all of this packed in one gentleman. How do you swing this? Wow. <laughs> Excel. Um, okay. I, I just do it like anybody is eating or drinking water. <laughs> I find it easy to do. Good. And um, a guy once said to me, there's no way to define you. So when anybody asks me, Excel, what do you do? I usually say, I do me. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, Excel, you heard if you were with us from the beginning of the show, we're um, celebrating women this month and um, going deeper into um, family financing in the series, the success series. And um, we're going to, we're looking at um, family, money management, extended family support and financial planning. So while we bring you on, these are the areas that we're going to tie together in this conversation with you this morning. So going straight to extended family. Um, it's not strange to those of us in this part of the world, specifically Nigeria. Now, how do we find ourselves so deeply, or how did we find ourselves so deeply, you know, immersed in this practice called, you know, extended, extended family? family. <laughs> you know, uh, um, thank you so much. First, uh, I want to say a big shout out to all the women in the world, um, their great blessing. It is my opinion, and I've proven this all over the years, that women are stronger than men. And um, I think we should accept that reality. Uh, so I, I will use opportunity to encourage every man out there, please go and make a woman happy and love more women. The more more women are happy, the better we have a better world. If women are sad, guess what? The life will be miserable. I hope that men also will use opportunity to wake up to their responsibility to, to help and cure and heal most men who have been wounded by men or those who are cultures or religion have stopped. And um, once we do that, I mean, we're going to have a better world. So going back to uh, 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 the, the question and the topic for today, yeah. I, I don't think in Africa, especially in part of our world, we have extended family. What we have is family. I think the extended is a borrowed because you see back our behavior, we don't really have extended, we take responsibility of those people who call the extended family, okay? So, yeah. now, it is ingrained in our culture that once you have an uncle, you will take a total responsibility of the children. It's just ingrained. They don't, they don't tell you. You grow up to see your father. You grow up to see your mom. You become a cycle. Uh, such that, I, I do say this in Africa, especially for men, men live for the family, they don't live for themselves. After when you ask a lot of questions from most men that um, uh, if you are not married or you don't have a family, how do you spend your life? Then you'll be shocked. If anybody can ask um, the, the men around them, the way they will have spent their life. So I, I think that it, it, it's ingrained in us. It is the way we have, we have designed ourselves to take a responsibility for financial of your family. As I speak on this seat, I am in it. And guess what? Most people or most family people have other families they are responsible for. So it's more likely that if you check here as you are seated on that place, you are responsible for one, two, three other families. So I, I think it's our culture, it's the way of life here. And I think the, the, what we should ask is how do we go about it and see have a good life? And also see our financial freedom, which is a problem. I've seen in my practice, one of the core problems of marriage is money. Now, guess what? When money is in a family, conflict are lessened. When there's no more desire, as a matter of fact, a woman can enjoy a rich man than enjoy a poor man. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> Excel. I mean, I mean, I mean, totally correct. And if, if I, let, let me just move this, just watch this now. If I say, ma'am, can I have your account? I want to give you five million naira for celebrating the Women's Day. How do you feel? How do I feel? <laughs> Five million. Tell the truth. Too small, Joe. Excel. <laughs> Very little. I'd appreciate you. But I mean, that's... <laughs> I think as you say, it's little with your facial expression, you're smiling. <laughs> so, 
money, you see, I mean, the, the only book says that as wisdom is a defense, money is a defense. Mm. And what that literally means is that once you don't have money, you are exposed, you are incapacitated, mm. and a lot of insults and shame will come upon you. So, therefore, and I think what we do wrong in this part of the world is as much as it's our cultural value to pay attention to family, we don't plan our finance. We are very poor in planning our finance. You see a guy who will tell you that he has worked up to his life, die of diabetes or BP. Mm. Whereas, he could have saved our head to plan for his old age, which we don't do. If I ask a lot of people in the industry, mm. how many people have a plan for their old age? What investment scheme do you have for your old age? If your children, and as we, the economy, as we speak today, there's a rumor that if there's a poor eye, and I see a lot of people saying that uh, uh, their money for retirement is somewhere. And I say this, as you keep that money in one bank on one insurance, there's devaluation of your point. So let me give you for example. If you have 100 million euro, for example, and that's what you are keeping for your old age, and let's say as when you retire at 60, by the time you are 70, that money is likely to go to 50 million euro by devaluation, okay? Now, by the time you are 70, by the time you are 80, it's likely that that money is 25 million euro. So how will that take care of you on old age? So I think it's therefore important, you know, as we extend our hands to family people, pay attention to yourself. You're going to die alone. They need you even to leave. Then it's important. You know, I, I'm saying this also because, I mean, I, I believe, I mean, I, and it's very obvious, I mean, my family can listen to me. This is what I do for a living. I take care of them. This one, I mean, yesterday, the relatives say, yeah, please, I need the money. My children could not, uh, my daughter could not go to school. She's about to do our work here. I just need something to say to me, I said, but this is also now my opinion. Okay. You must, as a must, have a budget for family finance or what we call extended family. Okay? If you don't plan, then you are failing automatically. You must have a budget. It's a poor culture we do here where you don't have a budget. Have a budget. How many percentage of your income goes to family? And the other one, which I see that they have worked well, because sometimes you can't pay it. It could be accident. It could be a call, urgent call. Have an investment okay. for your extended family. Okay. Yeah. Well, you, you you said at the beginning that there's uh, it's a borrowed word, extended family. That what we have is family. So what I understand is, while you're planning for your immediate family, that's the husband and the wife and the children, you're also having a budget plan for your uncle, your aunties, you know, and their children because they are also part of your system as a family. I just get, need a yes or a no. Correct. Thank Correct. You. Correct. <laughs> it's great. Correct. So it's so a good thing. It's a good thing. A and I, 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 let, let me say something to you, come on light in that. You see, once you have a budget, the other thing you now do is to communicate to them. Mm. Now, people need to know you for the principle and for this policy that runs in your home. That's man. I have a budget, for example. I'm going to send you this every month. Okay? Now, what you're also doing by that is that they also know that you stick to your plan and you are firm. The second thing that is doing also, you are educating them to change that cycle of financial irresponsibility called, res financial, called responsibility. Okay? So I know this. I have, I have, I have I've worked with some people and I come to understand that it works there. So you let them know. They know they won't call you for agency. They know that their money is coming with the 24th. They understand that. Wow. Now you are also changing the cycle. I can bet you that that's your uncle. We also take it as a lifestyle. The, mm -hmm. the, the cause is somewhere. We sit down as a lifestyle and we can change all this. Because we are seeing more old, old people who have worked, both men and women, dying somewhere in the hospital because they can't take care of themselves. Sure. We are seeing a lot of people who can't go on vacation, for example, to go and enjoy your money. Mm. You get to that? Mm. We are seeing most family people, daddy and mommy, who can't buy shirt or clothes. For example, if I ask you on the TV, sure. if you do, for example, if you do an audit of your account, let me show you what is your what you you will discover that you don't actually spend 10% on yourself. If you do auditing, which is then now important for you to get it there, do an audit. All you need to do is that print out your uh, account statement and check where has your money gone in a month. Back mm. it to six months, and you'll be amazed where you will land in the future if anybody can just do that today. <laughs> now, now, <laughs> now, Excel, um, I'll, I'll take you back slightly because um, you will agree with me that a lot of what we're talking about concerning extended the extended family system is informal okay a lot of it is informal nothing is written down we just assume these roles 
we take up children and families, brothers and uncles and all of that. Are there any legal inf uh, implications, you know, for this form of child adoption, which we found ourselves, <laughs> child adoption, yes. An adult which, adoption. An adult adoption, which we've experienced in this system. Are there any legal implications? Well, well yes, there are legal implications. However, our culture here supersedes legal implications. Okay? We have to know that. It is known in the legal world, when it comes even to divorce, that a particular gender has an alpatic, despite that's not what the law states. Okay? Then it means that in Africa, our value is very strong. And it still take over any legislative uh, policies. Then what do you now do? What I believe you could do is that you can have an internal legal process in your own home or to your own self. Okay, for example, if I say that once it's 9 p.m., nobody comes into my house, nobody comes to my house. Some of us know that no family can come and knock my door without telling me that they are coming. You are creating the legal system into your place. Because where there's a bigger problem is this. For example, a man or a woman who gives a lot to the family, okay, and is the one taking care of the family. The day that guy pass on, the family will come to which aunt the the, his own immediate family, okay? Mm -hmm. And there's nothing you're going to do about it. Mm -hmm. I have seen people in my sessions tell me this. They say, my wife better take this particular property I want to allot to her, or this particular portfolio I want to allot to her. You know why? If I die, my family are going to come, and they will take anything. They will fight to take everything. Mm -hmm. So based on experience, you get this now, the legal, it is not very tangible with our people. And you know this for sure. When it comes to financial uh, reward or financial package, our legal ecosystem is very slow in coming to conclusion or good judgment in that regard. So, for example, we have families who have been in court on the property for 20, 30, 50 years. Mm. So therefore, knowing this, it's not important for us to do immediate one, okay? Whereby sometimes you can allot the, the, what you want on your property, you can allot uh, the investment that comes into your family. I, I just do all that because we don't just know when somebody could just die. You don't just know. As I speak with you now, we don't know even when. Therefore, it is important to plan now. I mean, a wise man once told me before, he said, Excel, plan your will and write your will once you are 30 years old. Okay? Write your will because you don't just have an idea. Okay. All right, Excel. Um, so much has been said about extended family in terms of financial management and how kind you can be. And um, I'm glad you said, um, you just told us that we can formalize it somehow. Now, what advantages are inherent in extended family practice? Oh, Are there more loads, disadvantages? Because you just talked about... Advantage. Yeah. Go loads ahead. Of, lo loads of advantage are such that... Um, Unfortunately, because of the pains or the or, or, or the or, 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 or the experience a lot of people have, which is negative, we are trying to uh, let extended family be away. Let me give for example, my aged mother called me that um, she was um, sick, and um, and a day later, a younger sister was already there. Mm. You get this now. Mm. When my grandmother was passing, my mother was there. And I went to go and say a goodbye to her. Mm. Now, there is nothing like we say, blood is thicker than water. Therefore, it is ignorance. I can see the generation growing for you to cut your family. Listen, I, I've seen a lot. You see, even in divorce process, the people that will stick to you are your immediate family, which you call extended family. Sure. Unfortunately, some people, they have abused those extended family by saying they are just clinging to their spouse. But when crisis comes, sometimes <laughs> your spouse can only try. For example, most women have problem with their mother-in-law. Do you know why they have that problem? It's just because their mother-in-law is not in the original blood. So therefore, I beseech people to stick to your extended family. However, have principles that govern the extended family so that both of parties can create an harmony or pair of you have a healthy relationship while sticking them. Because you don't just have an idea. And there's something about um, uh, extended family. One of the things they do for you is that they let your children know their origin, where they belong, who they can live with. And if you have seen some home where they don't share a uh, uh, relationship with extended family, there is diminished of love and healthy relationship, even in that immediate family, 
So you hear people say that, for example, I, I'm not talking to my cousin. And as we grow old, we look for someone who's like us. We can talk, play, connect, call our family. And I see this generation creating this division, okay? I, 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 and it's very, it's very painful. I also, I experienced it. I know what I'm talking about. You get it now? So you might be looking for extended family. You are talking. And, and there, there, there's big lacuna between this. So it's very important that we stick to our origin. However, what we need to do is to correct what is wrong and also embrace what works. Hmm. Interesting. Mm. You know, for a moment, I, I just had to go back in time to when my grandmother was uh, still alive many years ago. And she used to come home with family. Mm -hmm. Now family, <laughs> okay? She used to come home with so many children our age, people who grew up with us, people who my parents now, yeah. you know, finally adopted as their own children. Okay. As a matter of fact, one of them got so close to changing his own surname to ours, because we were that, we were that, we became so close. Yeah. Now, Excel, this system of extended family, for us as Africans and maybe Nigerians in particular, what future do you see for it? Is it a system that is threatened in any way in the future? Will it stay with us? Hmm. Wow! Th thank you so much for asking me this question. Uh, if we look at if we if we look at the track of how it's going, I don't think it's an institution that will stay. And simply saying this, you could see that there is a downward trend in our West, a our extended family. Okay, Be based on that, you could use use that scope to do what they call projecting to the future. So the problem is then based on that reality, we need to, for example, if I ask our children most time. I is your cousin, I is your I is this, I is your nephew and all that. Sometimes even they don't know where they are. They do. They're now beginning to see a friend in school and pick a friend, but she's just a friend. He won't come there really sometimes. He will need to travel out to, to embrace when you're about to marry. And this is I've discovered. Most marriages that have healthy extended family, they have the way of staying longer because the spouse also respects the family. Okay. So that means that if you hit my, my wife, for example, I've just hit about 200 people line up. And I don't know which one is Hami that will come and beat me tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know which one, you know, I have a business relationship with and I'm going to lose everything. And that is the power of community and family system that Africa has built. Unfortunately, we are, we are just exporting the extended, our extended culture from abroad to infiltrate and distort the value of our marriage system as we have it. As I speak, my relatives that I have relationship with, if I call them in 24 hours and I need a help, they will gather here. You know, I've had a lady who said to me, I came from a polygamous home and this is not working. I'm not in relationship with the other, uh, 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 the, the other siblings. But you know what? If I'm sick and I need the millions of naira, these people will provide the money in less than 24 hours. That is the power of family. And it's unfortunate that we are living a narrow life, you know, called healthy life. Unfortunately, who, and, and I say this for example, it's just my opinion. Who say that in old age is your son or your daughter oh, that will take care of you? Yeah. It's an assumption. Yeah. <laughs> it's an assumption. Mm. So it would be foolish of me not to extend hand. Mm. A, a child wants to be one day, my senior family says, sir, can you sponsor my school so I can come and live in Lagos? Mm. It's a secondary school. What the child has communicated to me is that I want my life better. Mm. And I want to live around you. So, do you know the statement the girl said haunts me because I've not done so? But do you know the, the good thing about it? If this child fails tomorrow, I will mentally take responsibility for it. Therefore, it's important. So, as much as I don't want to kill myself in terms of my financial uh, capacity, what can I do? Is it an investment? Is it also to, to, to add to my husband as they say it? But also, more importantly, to make myself happy. So extended family, we need to go back to the basics and embrace what works and not totally reject what doesn't work. That marriage can fail. Your extended family will embrace you. Okay. If you are bed waiting or you are there on the bed, your family will be there still. The stronger you have an extended family, it is more likely 
you have a, a good life and more inheritance in terms of relationship to leave and legacy for the ones coming behind. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I'm looking at, um, very quickly, if we can throw this in, my directors, um, I'm looking at the social media, you know, impact at this point in time. Um, we have, we have um, identified the importance of, you know, keeping the family, the extended family system. I, I, if you come from any family now, you have um, social media groups, you know, we have family groups, you have these family groups and all of that. Would you say that's an upgrade, you know, um, in, in terms of staying afloat, you know, not letting this uh, extended family die, you know, is it, is it another option of keeping the extended family? Okay, um, I think it's a good one. I guess what you're saying is that um, what, what is the benefit of extending this family system or extending family to social uh, uh, media, social media. Uh, 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 platforms? So I think it's good. Um, so right now, what we're having is, is that, which is also important, I said that if you have a senior family uh, kind of group, uh, WhatsApp group, or uh, if it's Facebook yeah. group, you know, where you guys interact, you talk, you celebrate, maybe mm. this, uh, you celebrate that day, you celebrate that very good. Mm. It helps a lot uh, because it is not enough just to have an extended family. It is the communication and the connection that plays a big role, okay? So if Facebook or any of the social media is doing, uh, uh, gives the platform whereby we can connect more, very good. However, we should not now reject the physical contact, which is very, very important. And I see that we are taking more responsibility or getting working so hard that we don't have physical contact. The place of physical contact can never be replaced because that's the way human can design. But the way there is bigger problem is what we have now have people meet somebody on Instagram or Facebook you don't know before, and automatically you are saying is my is my family. You are just joking, okay? You don't know the makeup. If you don't know when he's on the video, he's lying to you using some uh, app. That, that is you, not extended. Call yourself a family. Call yourself <laughs> that is not an extended that family. Is, you know no, the, the, the link must be established. I think that's yeah. what to be corrected, but we need to embrace uh, social media and do, as it gives us opportunity to connect. Wow, wow, Excel. Indeed, the extended family system is uh, clearly something that has come to, to stay with us. It is deeply embedded in our DNA in our system and all of that. And I'm also that is something that we simply have to learn to live with. with. Yes. Yeah, Helen? Definitely, definitely. I, I am thinking about so many cousins and nieces, you know, who lived with us when we were growing up yeah. and um, what impact they have had to play in my life as an adult. So I, 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 I am a beneficiary, you know, of the benefits. Yes. John, help me here. Yeah, of the family. Of the benefits, yes. <laughs> of the extended family um, system. Thank yes. you so much um, for being a part of the show. Again, you. you know, it's always a pleasure having you. You are a man of so many parts and you've done it again. God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much, Excel. I appreciate it. Yes. <laughs> okay. We hope that you are on the show with us and you're learning a whole lot. We are Africans. The extended family system is our thing and we must learn to nourish it and to keep it afloat um, going. All right, next on the program, it's Pharaoh. And she's our lifestyle and wellness queen. Ah, Pharaoh will finish queen. me. This word I'm using this morning, I'm in trouble. Yes, she is. Wow, and queen. she has a guest with her, always um, a delight. She's going to be talking with Taiwo Okwo this morning, who is founder of Fem Minty, an educational platform for promoting financial education. My queen, my queen. Before we, before we bring our queen <laughs> on, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, like she said, Ferron will be talking to her guest. All right. Don't go away. Stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>